hair product, a bottle of shampoo, a box of trash bags, and one Halloween decoration, $70 on my Target Red card. That's with my 5% discount. My son's looking at the cart and going, Mom, this was $70. We didn't even get anything. Yeah, I know, kid. And he doesn't even remember a time when you could get a two-bedroom apartment in a decent area of town for $600 a month. Now a one-bedroom apartment in a mediocre part of town is two grand a month. Gas is $5.49 a gallon. It cost me $65 to fill up my tank. Before COVID, my grocery bill per month was $350. Now it's $600 a month, and I buy the exact same amount of groceries. This shit is out of control. What does the bourgeoisie think that the outcome of this is going to be? They cannot possibly believe that extracting every last dime out of the working class by inflating all of the prices and paying us poverty wages is a sustainable economic model. And the thing is, is that I, I could be mad at the bourgeoisie all day long, but they are doing exactly what is expected. They are greedy sociopaths. This is what they do. I am more mad at Americans because instead of uniting against this common enemy who is robbing us blind, we are fighting over whether or not drag queens can read books to children. At what point are we going to stop taking this shit, lying down, put our foots down and say, fuck this and not allow it anymore? We cannot even afford to live in this country. We can't even afford to die in this country. The Republican Party is bought and paid for by the same greedy sociopaths who are robbing you, me, and our families blind every day. They are manipulating you into believing that they are going to save you from the problems that they created in your life. They have not walked a single inch in your working class shoes. They have no idea the struggle that you and I go through every day in this economy just to feed our families and keep them safe. They are gaslighting you into believing that I am your enemy so that you're distracted while they continue to do their dirt behind your back because they know that if you knew what they were doing, you wouldn't vote for them anymore. Why are you listening to them? The Democratic Party, with the exception of a very small few, is filled with weak and spineless politicians who placate to everyone just so that they can get reelected because they want to maintain some semblance of power in Congress. Why are you placing all of your faith and hope in this party to save us? Your religious leaders are funded by the same corporate sponsors who have bought your politicians and they are weaponizing your faith against you so that you are distracted by a made up enemy, your gay neighbor or your liberal coworker. So that you are not paying attention to the extreme financial crimes that they are committing against all of us right under your nose. In the richest country in the world, half a million people are homeless when there are more than enough homes to house them. And millions of children are hungry or food insecure, having their one free meal taken away from them at school. Ten-year-olds are being forced to bear the child of their greatest. People are rationing their insulin and dying because they cannot afford health care. The water's polluted. The air is polluted. The soil is devoid of nutrients because we have oversaturated it in pesticides. We're not going to be able to grow our own food in the coming decades. The planet is literally dying. And they are putting hotels up in space and telling you that they can't afford to pay you a living wage and you are believing them. This period is going to go down in the history books as one of the most epic failures that America ever allowed to happen. Future generations are going to study this time in history and ask themselves, why did they not do anything? How could they not see? And if you're sitting behind your phone right now and thinking to yourself, it's not me, it's those goddamn weirdo trans kids, then you are the people that they will be talking about. Wake the fuck up. Yeah.